keep in mind that it's here, and I'll get it as soon as I know what I can use it for. This is a good idea. Hey, wanna see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? No, not at all. Without the correct temperature or humidity, my mushrooms won't be able to grow optimally. But the trick was great, nonetheless. Wait a second. Where does the rope behind your back lead? Hey, you're spoiling all the fun. Whoops! My hairy fairy cups! You've destroyed my hairy fairy cup collection! Not to mention seven years of therapy! In my defense, I have to say... Now I remember you! Get out of my room! There must be a better way. Oh great, now the picture of the hairy black cup is where the purple fairy cup is meant to be. Okay, the letter is in place. I've completed all the tasks now. It's broken beyond repair. There must be a better way. Looks like Dr. Fred uses this for important letters. I can't combine those two things. I can't combine... Looks like a barbell. Yeah, now I can work out with that thing. I just need a workout bench. I am feeling strong now. I better keep it. Bitchin. I'll do it later. I'm a roadie, not a rowdy. Betchin. All right, alarm set, letter pinned. And the secret lab isn't gluey anymore. Then we can go back now. Whoop. 
the sludge o is switched on? I better switch it off before anything bad happens. I always wanted to try that. I hope Dr. Fred's plan isn't too dangerous. It's gone all right so far. It's working! Does that mean you've thought up a plan to stop Purple? No, I mean the time machine! It's working! But you knew that already when we tested it on the hamster, Dr. Fred. No, you've been the guinea pigs! You morons really believe that Purple had returned! But the letter... Was me! I had to do the final testing on humans before the Chrono Wash went into production! You mean... Tentacle Schema! Yeah, that was not... cool. So where is Purple now? I thought we packed him in an envelope and sent him to Siberia. Yes, but the letter was insufficiently stamped and returned to sender. So I simply kept Purple tied up in my laboratory for the past two years. And to stop you idiots from untying him yesterday, I glued him in my secret room using my super duper glue. So that's why you invented your super glue yesterday. But I cleaned that spot too. What? Oh great. Now we'll have to catch him. Fortunately, the sludge matic is off! Otherwise, Purple Tentacle might have used the mutagen to get his mighty arms back! But the sludge matic was on. I switched it off. Bernard, the sign is upside down. You turned it on! Oh no! <laughs> Foolish humans! Thanks to your carelessness, I'm back and mightier than ever before! I will take on the world and the universe! Your cheap time travel tricks will be of no use, as my clones protect me in the past. Earth alone isn't big enough for my new center of tentacle power, insincerely yours. <laughs> yes, thank you for your infinite stupidity, Bernard. I knew I should have gotten proper test subjects. But how did Purple get into the past? Probably with the old Chronogon. Balls. What do we do now? Don't worry, I've got a plan. I'll send all three of you to Purple Tentacle with the Chrono Wash, and you can stop him there. But we don't even know where he is. Don't bore me with the details. <laughs> I'll just have to interchange these two cables and you'll land on that planet. What planet? Purple will establish his power center on Kepler 452B. How do you know that, Dr. Fred? It's the only Earth-like planet that's large enough and has a sufficiently active biosphere. Also, it's the return address on Purple's letter. You're a proper Sherlock Holmes. Buckle up. Here we go. But shouldn't we test the machine with interchange twice first? That's what we're doing. It works. Einstein wasn't right after all. Or was he? Oh, what 
a nice view. Oh, great. Damn it. Is that part of your plan, Dr. Fred? Of course not! Now we'll have to improvise! Hey, what's going on? Pitch dark. I think the game's over. But it has only just started. Looks like the graphic artist ran out of time. It's got to be really time-consuming, drawing all those locations. Or drawing Bernard scratching his butt. <laughs> or writing these dialogues. And recording them. There sure is a lot to do. I heard they were only four people making this in their spare time. Wow. Making a full game this way and finishing it in a reasonable time sounds impossible to me. Sad. But share your experience with the team if you like to prologue. And pass the game to your friends. The more this fan adventure gets spread and the more feedback it gets, they might continue working on the full game. That would be awesome. I really want to kick Purple's butt. See you soon, hopefully. Farewell. So long. Thank <laughs> you.